This week on the Street of Dreams not only marked the end of the week and the end of the first quarter of 2023, but also the end of the month that was best described as March Madness. March's stock market came in like a lion, but went out as a bull. For the month, the S&P 500 closed 3.5% higher, while the NASDAQ added almost 7% and the Dow jumped 1.89%. But it hasn't been a smooth ride. Stocks mounted a comeback in the latter part of March after the month began with the failure of two regional banks, a forced takeover of Credit Suisse, and a flight of deposits from smaller institutions. The government's backstop of the deposits of Silicon Valley, as well as Signature Bank, and the setup of a special lending facility for other banks helped to stem the crisis. The market got a boost Friday after the Fed's preferred inflation gauge showed a cooler than expected increase in prices. The Core Personal Consumption Expenditures Index the PCE, which excludes energy and food costs, only rose three-tenths of a percent in February, less than the four-tenths of a percent expected by economists. The overall market has done surprisingly well despite the banking crisis, simply because every day without a bank run instills more confidence that the worst may be over and the Fed and the FDIC will continue to stabilize the situation if more actions are needed.